My name is John Buglioni, B-U-G-L-I-O-N-E. I was an E-5 uh, health technician. The, uh, when I was on the rush, uh, we, we had a collision at sea going to the med. And uh, I have pictures of that in my phone, but my wife, oh, I have it. Uh, and we, we hit uh, the Salamone, USS Salamone. We were, a humorous story, we were doing highlining for refueling. And my, the guy who introduced me to my wife and who uh, was my good friend on the ship, He's standing there, and we're pulling the lines, and he's watching the ceremony get closer and further and closer. And he says to me, that's going to hit us. Listen, don't leave me if we have to go over because I can't swim. I look at him and said, how the hell did you get through boot camp without learning how to swim? He says, I was sick for a week. Just leave it alone, you know. Okay, so that was that. Was that. And it was really funny, but it was not because right after that, I was in my repair out, my repair locker in my uh, re refueling uh, station, and I wound up having to go back. Then I wound up we wound up working forty or fifty hours at that point to make sure we did the ship didn't sink by the time we got into Gibraltar. That was very interesting. During the Mediterranean, we went to Turkey. And that was that was very interesting, very interesting. I had shore patrol one night, and it was during their elections. And this little guy, we got somehow we got stuck, and nobody picked us up until five o'clock in the morning. So at two o'clock in the morning, we were in this underpass between the major artery of traffic in Turkey in Istanbul, and this guy is putting communist signs all over the place. This little guy comes running up at me, looks at me, and I wonder, what's going on? What's going to happen? And I, I took a little bit of a defensive stand, and he goes, Yankee, go home! And that was it. <laughs> that was a funny thing, I thought. Wait, it, was, it, was a, it was a unique experience. When we were in Naples, there was a, fam there was a rich guy that uh, uh, actually supplied us with uh, lobster. Yeah, he was in, we were in Messina, and he supplied the whole ship with lobster. That was pretty good. Fresh lobster I'm talking about. That was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. We used to do tail guard on planes, on aircraft carriers, and while we're doing tail guard, Russian ships, Russian destroyers used to pull us, pull in in front of us and push us out of the way and, and take position behind our aircraft carrier. One time, Commander Waring actually ordered guns to be pointed. That was scary, but he, I guess he knew what he was doing. Of course, they, they got out of the way. You know? During the Mediterranean, they were all over us. They were all over us. You know, they, they would push us out of the way. They would come right next to us. They would actually come close to you and move you. You know, they would move, move off. 